The sports website Deadspin has been sold and its entire staff cut in the process. If you're unfamiliar with Deadspin, they were recently plastered in the news for publishing this story, portraying a Kansas City Chiefs fan as wearing blackface, when really the other half of his face was painted red. The parents of the child front and center of the controversy sued, the family lawyer group reacting on X to news of Deadspin sale and staff layoffs. Journalism and the country as a whole is better today now that Karin Phillips no longer has a platform to target innocent kids with his agenda-driven writing. We are also grateful to Geo Media for infusing the company with cash that can be used to pay the judgment the Armenta family is going to win against it. Deadspin was launched in 2005 as part of Gawker, a pretty successful gossip media site until it wasn't. Gawker filed for bankruptcy after being sued by Hulk Hogan for invasion of privacy. Deadspin's next owner would be Univision in 2016, sold from there to Geo Media in 2019, which takes us to today, sold to a media startup, Lineup Publishing. Deciding to cut all staff and start fresh with a new editorial team and new vision. The startup faces an uphill battle because the sports journalism sector has been struggling to find its footing in an evolving media space. Sports Illustrated similarly had its editorial staff laid off. In recent months, the New York Times parted ways with its sports department. The Times owns The Athletic, a sports subscription service, but even that venture has had its problems and has yet to turn a profit.